Part 23. Increase and decrease by a given percentage. You will find this on page 29 in the Namibia Mathematics Grade 9 textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Increase and decrease by a given percentage. Calculate the quantity. Finding the amount of the percentage increase or decrease. Increase. Increase a price of 70 Namibian dollar by 20%. Now let's first look at method one. First find the quantity, then add or subtract. So first work out 20% of 70. So it's 20 over 100 times 70, and that will give me $14. So then I will just take the 70, I will add the 14, and I will get 84 Namibian dollar. Okay, method two. First increase or decrease the percentage, then find the percentage of the quantity. So take the full amount, which is 100%, then add the 20% due to the increase, and that will give me 120%. And then it's 120 over 100 times 70, and the answer will be 84 Namibian dollar, exactly the same. If I say reduce the price of 70 Namibian dollar by 20%, Again, work out 20%, that's $14. And now instead of adding it, I will just subtract it. Okay, and in method two, I will take the full percentage and I will subtract the 20%. That will give me 80%. And then 80 out of 100 times 70, and my answer will be 56%. Okay, exactly the same. What is the keywords for increase? It's mark up, add, profit, more. What is the keywords for decrease? Reduce, discount, less, deducted, loss. Now, let's, I want you to stop the video and I want you to do try now 1A and 2D. Try to do it on method 1 as well as method 2. Okay, let's start. We are at try now 32, and we're going to start with number A. Now, increase the price of 50 by 5%. So basically, I'm first going to work out, remember this is method 1. Let's just write it there. So I'm first going to work out 5% of 50. Now, you can even work it out mentally. 10% will be 5. So 5 the 5% is the half of 10% and that will be the half of 5 which will be 2.5 and this is exactly what I will get. And now I will just add it up so I will say the 50 plus the 2.5 and my answer will be 52.50. And if I do it on method 2, then I'm just going to say, okay, I'm first going to add, so I'm going to take the 100%, and I'm going to add the 5%. And that is going to give me a total of 105%. And now I'm just going to take 105, and I divide it by 100, and I times it with 50, and I will also get 52.50. Okay, let's look at number D, number 2D. Oh, this is also an increase. So if it's increased, no, let's just take another one. I'm rather going to do, you can again stop the video, and then you can do this. I rather is going to take number B. Reduce a price of $9.60 by 7.5. I want to do a reduce one also. Okay, so let's start. We do first method one. So basically, I'm just going to say, so I'm going to say 7.5 over 100, and I'm going to multiply with 9.6 and that's going to give me an answer of 
two. Now, because of reduce, I'm just going to say 9.6 minus 0 0.72, and my final answer will be 8.88. Let's just move it up a little bit. Okay, and then if I do method two, Now, I will first take the percentage, which is 100, the full amount, and then I will subtract the 7.5 because it's reduced. And that will give me 92.5. So now I will just say 92.5 over 100, and I'm going to multiply by 9.6. And that's going to give me directly, oh, this sign was not good. That's going to give me 8.88, and that will be the final. So you can either do method 1 or do method 2. Let's look at the practical sum. Note, look for the keywords to help you to decide between increase and decrease. Now, let's just go through this. Mr. Bota's weekly wage is 1,600, and 80% of this is deducted by his employer for pension contributions. How much is left after the pension contribution has been deducted? So first we must work out what is 18%. So now method two will not be so good. I'd rather just work with method one. So I work out 18% and I get 2.88. And then I take the 1,600 and I subtract the 2.88 and that gives me an answer of 1312. Okay, so remember the word deducted means subtraction. And now Mr. Buddha has given a 7.5 weight increase. What is his new? Now increase means add. So I can first work out what is 7.5, that's 120. And then I add the 120 with the 1,600. And that's given me 1,720 Namibian dollar. Okay, again. Just come to that page. Um, I want you to stop. And I want you to do for me number two. As soon as you are finished, you can continue with the video. Okay, try now 33. And we are going to do number two. Let's start with the first one. Okay, an employer earning this is offered an increase of 12%. Find the cash. So only method one will work on this one. So I'm first going to work out what is 12% of that 4510. And that will give me a total of 541.20. Okay. So find the cash value of the increase. So the cash value of the increase will be 541.20. And then in number B, so I can just write it into a sentence by saying cash value and then just that one. And then number B, the new salary. So basically I just do the final step. I'm just taking the uh, original amount, 4510, and I add that uh, 5, that new one, 541.20, and I'm going to get an answer of 5051.20. So the new salary will be that 5051.20. Five so it's exactly the same, it's just put in. It's just in words, this example. 